Right now, you're looking live at the Spectrum Center, the home of the Charlotte Hornets. And tonight, a Charlotte Hornets player is partnering with Honeywell in a STEM nonprofit to get students thinking outside the box. The students at Governor's Village STEM Academy were asked to create game day accessories for Hornets player Kelly Oubre Jr. And Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks went to the unveiling of the designs today, and she joins us live now from the Spectrum Center tonight. Shakira, what did you see? Some amazement? Alicia, I saw some great designs and they were all made by a 3D printer. Okay, so get this. The class is being, the students are in a class that teaches design in a 3D platform for printing. It's crazy. So what they do is they have to understand measuring, they have to understand dimensions and a whole bunch of other things. And once they figure that out and get it right, the teacher will print it out. So I met several students who made some great designs for Hornets forward Kelly Oubre Jr. And he'll be wearing those until the end of the season here at Spectrum Center. Meet Jalen Rhodes. She's an eighth grader at Governor's Village STEM Academy. Over the last few weeks, Rhodes and her classmates have worked to make these 3D designs for Kelly Oubre Jr., one of the NBA's most fashionable players. Her design was a 3D key pendant for Oubre Jr. and his fiance. There's subtle nods to the last name O, which goes around the S and the uh, K. So the K would start for his first name initial and the S for her last name initial. So they're both unlocking a new chapter of their lives. And get this, Rhodes wants to be in animal care when she grows up, but she's taking everything she's learning and plans to incorporate that into the career that she wants. I learned that you could be creative with this because before I thought this was like just a stiff software but now I think I can actually take this somewhere and I'm able to create things that I didn't think I'd be ever to create before. Oubre Jr. plans to wear each design as a game day accessory while on the court. He says it's exciting to see kids pursue career paths other than sports. You know, I'm an artist at the end of the day, so therefore, like, yes, I play sports, but I'm more than that. You know, I am these kids too. You know, I was once these kids who I didn't know what I was going to do. You know, I was yay high and didn't have a thought process in the world of you know what I wanted to do. He walked around to each student and listened to their ideas and allowed them to show him their process. They're finding passions and they're finding you know what makes them feel good or at an early age man and the sky's the limit for kids who can find their passions and you know follow that on for the rest of their lives so that's that's my goal. STEM teacher Tori Leslie says that was her goal all along. None of them are done. Some of them were so engaged on their next project in this space that they couldn't even realize what was happening now because they have two or three ideas. So my next step is to hold on to that energy they have and see what else they can create and take these projects to the next level. I cannot wait to see what these what these students come up with in their next project. This project right here took about a month, but as you can see from the work that these students presented, it looked like it took several months, guys. So to thank the students and staff, Kelly Oubre Jr. invited everyone to his last game against the Wizards. We're live in Uptown tonight. Shakira Speaks, Queen City News. What a generous guy and some creative uh, workings there by all the students. I love it. All right, Shakira, thank you.